Hello, this is John Young again, back with another video. I'm going to answer a question that I get a lot. What is the difference between cosine and inverse cosine? A lot of my trade kids just don't understand the concept of the two. So let me explain both of them to you. Okay, so with cosine of x, that talks about the ratio of the sides of a right triangle. So if this is my angle x, then I need to identify the three sides of this triangle. The side opposite, you can think of this as being an eye and it's looking that direction. So the observed side is called the opposite side. I label it with a no. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. I label that H. And the side next to the angle is the adjacent side, and we call that A. So the cosine of X is equal to the ratio of the two sides. So um, if you know the Indian woman named Sokotoa, uh, cosine is represented by the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So the cosine of the angle is talking about the ratio of those two sides, so you get a decimal number. If I take this ratio that I have right here, and I know those two numbers, then I can use the inverse cos cosine of the angle along with that ratio to figure out how many degrees that angle is. So one of these is a decimal, that has to do with the ratio of the two sides, and this one talks about the angle. So one with this one, you can actually find the decimal for the ratio of the two sides. And for this one, you can actually figure out how big the actual angle is. And in my next video, I will show you exactly how to use those two relationships. And, and um, we'll talk a little bit more about Sokotoa.